Welcome back. In this section, we will be going towards more on practical sort of hands on from a administration side. In the section one or the week one, we basically understood, okay, how this catalogs and uh, groups are linked and how a user will be seeing their tiles once they have access to this catalogs and groups. What we would be doing in this section is we will be understanding about how you would be working with groups and catalogs in practical and if you want to give access to a particular user then how to go about it what are the steps involved there are basically five steps to do that and apart from that we will see some of the roles and authorization concept which we will not have any idea if we would like to work on a user creation from scratch what I'm trying to say is that if I create a user from scratch and I try to go through this step, then that user need to have some pre-checks, pre-rolls and pre-authorization. Now that is one of the scenarios or problem which might occur in your case because what can happen is that the user can be missing some basic authorization checks or the user don't have access to execute some of the services which is required and there's a lot of troubleshooting to be done because if everything is correct then you have to just follow the steps and you will get the result but what if something goes wrong and you need to troubleshoot so we will be focusing in the second part two parts which we are going to cover within this section first is how to create a user who already have some basic authorization so we don't have to really bang our head much we will be again going through some of the authorization part but not much but this user will be basically created and we will try to give him a purchase approval application which we saw in the previous section how to configure or how to extend so we will be giving that particular tile access to this user with this authorization and all and in the next section we will be creating a user from scratch and try to struggle a little bit okay how or what authorization are missing try to find out that by debugging and then giving those authorization object now if you have access to fury guide that will be very easy but i will always recommend to be able to find those troubleshooting techniques and getting some hands-on skill with the troubleshooting because most of the time there will be scenarios where you might be in middle of a authorization error and with the documentation it will be very difficult to match okay what exactly is the authorization object missing with the user so we will see those scenarios in the troubleshooting in the second part but for the first part we will be doing more like practicals which are required by you to give any tile access which is basically application access to our user okay so let's go ahead and try to see what are the steps which we need to do here so the first step is to create the catalog configure the catalog then create the group configure the group and then finally we will assign the catalog and the group together to create the tile and um, we have to give specific authorization to user as well so let's start with creating the user so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the transaction su01 to create a new user so i'm going to create a new user of developer3 so this will be a brand new user in the platform and um, let's create this user so it will be asking for the title and i'm going to say it, second name or the last name as dev and um, that's the only field which is required and uh, I need to configure the logon data password. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say and um, here I'm going to 